For three, what did you guys get? Negative 21. I agree. Remember, you have to show your work. I'm going to keep repeating that so that the online students know too. Number four. I got negative one as well. Let's go over that real quick because I heard two different answers. Okay, guys, it's okay. That's why we're here. Let's make it really simple. What's four take away four? See how you can group those together? So negative one, really easy. Now you could have said four take away five because you could have put those together and done that. You could have done four take away one is three and then take away four is negative one. You could have done that. All three processes are correct. Remember what I'm looking for on your work is that you are showing your work. I'm gonna be giving you the answers on every single thing so you can know what you need help on. Do you need a few minutes to go over the next four? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Who's ready to go over the next four? Okay, what did you guys get for number five? Good, 24, why is it positive? Negative, negative makes a positive. Now, honestly, this is a little tricky to show work on because it's negative, negative, and it's just like a simple thing. But what I'm looking for here is that something indicates you see that there's two negatives making the positive. What did you guys get for number six? Ooh, good. I was like, so close, so close. We ready for the next four? What did you guys get for number eight? I agree. Someone besides Jordan? All right, you need a minute? That's not a problem. I'm just gonna press pause for a second. All right, guys, we're back. Let's rock and roll. Uh, Gabriel, what'd you get for number nine? Mm hmm exactly those cross out and it's negative three Mario what'd you get for number 10 okay I'll give you a second we'll come back Ron what'd you get for number 11 okay we'll come back to you Jerry what'd you get for number 12 pardon oh yes I agree so Mario and Ron whenever you're ready All right, Mario, what'd you get for number 10? Positive three. Good. Ron, what'd you get for number 11? Perfect. Okay, guys, flip the page, please. Actually, can you please double check that your name is on it? I am not gonna be able to grade it if your name is not on it. So name, please. Today is the fifth. And you guys are first period. Okay, let's rock and roll. Flip the page. Boom. Easy cheese. Remember, can you write this at the top of your page? Is over of equals percent over 100. Is over of equals percent over 100. Can I change contrast? That's horrible. That's like blue. That's okay. Okay, that's exposure. What I want is contrast. Yeah, that's not going to be good to watch. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But I feel you. I was, I was like, I wish. All right. Okay, guys, let's rock and roll. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, just cross multiply. Boom. Boom. So I've got, hey, listen, I'm not doing this four times. You're doing it with me. 3M equals what? 54. 54. 
What's my next step? I want that M by itself. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Divide by what? Perfect. What's 54 divided by 3? That's what I got. 18. Ooh, I like that. Now, guys, you can totally grab your calculator and do that. I'm going to show you how to do it really fast in your head. So I did 3M, and I just didn't multiply this part. I just left that as 9 times 6 in my head, divided by 3, divided by 3. What's 6 divided by 3? No, what's 6 divided by 3? 2. What's 9 times 2? So I just keep it smaller unless I have to fix. You know what I mean? Like, I know my know your basic math, and it's so much faster. Okay, let's rock and roll. What you got? Uh, one moment. Miss Stone. Good morning. Okay. Walk me through, guys. Or do you just want to go the answers? We could do that. We walked through the first one. Do you guys want to do answers or you want to walk through it together? Okay. Tell me what to do. Okay, I see. Gotcha. 9x, and then you're multiplying. And then 6 times 10. I could multiply that to 60. I could. And then I'm just going to divide by 9. And here I'm going to think of the 9 as 3 times 3. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I get 20 over 3. Now, 20 over 3 is great for an exact answer. But on your test, I'm honestly going to give it to you as a decimal. And I'm going to have you, so it's going to be 6.6. And then it has a line over it. I'm going to, yeah. I'll have it so that it's a free response that you can put in on the on the computer. And I'll have it as long, like if you were between 6.6 .6 or if you rounded up to 6.7, both of them would be correct. How about 6, 2, or 3? Yep, 6 and 2 thirds, yep. In the computer, there's not really a way to do that, though. So in the answer part, you'll do this. But for today's work, I'm really just looking that you have work on your paper. Okay, let's, um, Ashley, can you walk us through number 15? And then, Sean, can you walk us through number 16? Okay, so I put 2x equals 16, and then I divided this by 2. Good, and what'd you get? Uh, you get we'll give you a minute. So it's 9, ain't it? Uh-huh, it is 9. Sean, when you're ready. Mm hmm. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to, to just set these up. I'm not looking for the answer yet. I want you to be able to set this up, okay? I'm going to set up the first one with you. The currency in Western Samoa is the Tala. The exchange rate is approximately three Tala for one dollar. At this rate, how many Tala would you get if you exchange four? Okay, so I'm gonna say Tala here, US dollar here, three to one is my ratio. And then I've got four and I don't know what this is. It is. And then just to set that up, it's like 3 over x, because that's our unknown, is equal to 1 over 4. Cross multiply, 12 is equal to x. Make sense? I'm going to give you a few minutes to try that while I try to get a couple things sorted out online. If I can find my cursor, there we go. All right, guys. Hey, focus up, focus up. Okay, Jordan and Ashley, walk me through how you set this up. Number 18. 
Just tell me what you got. Uh, oh, we got uh, four, six. Oh, I got It should be seven. Tell me how you got to seven. Uh, two over one for the first fraction. And then 14 over X. Cross multiply <laughs> divide it by two. Yep. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Omar and Mario, talk to me about number 19. Let's roll. Start off with four over one. Four inches and one tall. Okay. <laughs> Equals? I'm with you. I'm with you. Walk me. What's my next step? Hold on, I heard three people say they can't see, so we're going to go in tight. Give it a second. That little bitter. Okay, let's roll. Guys, the side talk has to stop. And you're going to cross multiply four and two. Mm -hmm. It equals eight. <laughs> yep, done. Santiago, number 20. Let's rock and roll. I didn't know we were supposed to do it like that, but this time. I don't care as long as you uh, as long as you're doing your math correct. It can be set up in a different way. Oh, nice. Twelve divided by two gets it. <laughs> twelve divided by what? Twelve divided by two. Oh, twelve divided by two. How come you're dividing the twelve by two? Because you're trying to figure out how many cans of pineapple. You need a can of pineapple for two dollars, and if you only got twelve, you divide twelve by two. You're totally right. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. It was your <laughs> <laughs> That was your table's job. Wait, 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 wait. Sean and Ethan. Ethan, how about you go? Because Sean went before. Pardon? Good. Three what? Three N equals one. Why are we using N? Because the name of the thing. Okay. I really have no idea what to write down. I'm not sure what you're trying to tell me to write down. So I'm following you on three to one. Okay. <laughs> I'm following you on three nuevos. So, uh, is that how you say that? Nuevos? Nuevos? Yeah. Navos? Okay, I see what you did. I'm not going to do it that way because that will confuse everyone. I'm going to do a proportion. Are you guys okay that we did three to one? And then we've got nine and we want to know what that is? That's our unknown part. So we've got three over nine. Sean, what you did was 100% correct. Oh, sorry, Ethan, what you did was 100% correct and totally fine for the test. But because I haven't taught it that way, I'm pretty sure that that will confuse people. And then just cross multiply. I'm oh, sorry, divide by three. 22, let's rock and roll. Ron, what you got? Two pairs of six equals to eight over six. Tall, wide. Tall, wide, okay. I'm with you. Then I cross multiply on that. Eight eggs is equal to four. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. What'd you get? X equals to four. Good. Really good. We're almost done. Flip to the last page. All right, you guys, this should be very similar because we've done this problem before. You have notes on this in your journal. 
I changed the numbers. You will have problems like this on your test on Thursday. You will have these same problems with slightly different numbers. So if you can do these, you can do those. Also, your test is open note, but the notes have to be in your journal. They cannot just be photocopied from somebody, and this doesn't count as notes. Can I glue it onto my Pardon? Can I glue this to my No, because you have to turn it into me. Just make sure you print it out and glue it to my no. Yeah. Take a picture, write it down. <laughs> yeah, you can take a picture. You can write anything you want in your journal. Okay, you guys ready? Guys, let's roll. Hey. What? What's my equation? I got P and B. It has to be biggest because you can't spend more than the 200. So the 200, your max. Okay. What am I doing with this P and this B? Oh yeah, so P. Yeah, 2.99 is with y'all. What are we? Got? We got the giggles today. <laughs> Woo! You got the giggles every day, huh? As soon as he, you said, what do we put in the TV? And he was like, some dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> All right, guys. Deep breath. Deep <laughs> breath. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, we're going again. Round two. <laughs> All right, you guys. If there's 108 people at work, and you need a half a pound of meat for every single person, how much meat do you need? How many pounds do you need? How do you figure it out? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? I need a half a pound for every person at work. Multiply by what? A half? What is that? What's half of 108? Oh, half of 59. You were close. You're trying to do mental math, right? Okay, so 54. Is that the most or the least I need? Do you want to go to a barbecue and not have food, or do you want to have a little extra food? Extra food. Okay. Now, what kind of meat are our options? However much pork and however much beef I get, put that together, I need a total of 54 pounds. Now, these are your two equations. We've got two equations. This one is for pounds. This one is for price. Because 54 is in pounds and 200 is dollars. You follow me? Oh. How or no? You said how. I don't say how. Okay. Say wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, guys. If we get 30 pounds of pork, how much can I get on the beef? How much can I afford? Am I getting? Nope. Afford, right? <laughs> See the afford? Afford means which equation am I going to use? Price equation. I'm going to take this and pop in that 30. Guys, you know I'm recording and everything you're saying is going online. What's 299 times 30? Don't know. You are right. Tell me what my next step is. I sure would, because I've already basically spent that money. So I wanted to find out how much left I have to spend on beef. What's 200 take away 89.7? 110.30. How much beef can I get? Mm -hmm. 
Not enough is a very Texan answer. But let give me a number. Quantify that. You're pretty close for around, you know, for estimating in your head. 18. 18 what? Give me a decimal, the first decimal. Um, I got 18.4. Did you divide by 599? I didn't do any of that. I just plugged in numbers. Gotcha. You should have done 110.30 divided by 599. This is how many pounds of beef I could get, okay? We've got 30 pounds of beef, I mean 30 pounds of pork, and how many of beef did we get? So we've got 30 and 18.4, did we get enough meat? No. No, how much did we get? Yeah, but how many pounds does that put it together? Yeah, 48.4 pounds, how many did we need? Right? You're, you're about six pounds short or five and a half pounds short, which means 12 people don't get meat. <laughs> you ever met a vegan in Texas? Yes. All right, guys. This question, hey, hey, listen, thank you. This question is more complicated than I intended. Here's what I need. Your beef, you have to get some. So it can't have the equal to. And you cannot get more than 54 pounds of any one of the beefs or meats. We're pretending that's our domain. It actually is way more complicated than that, so I'm not gonna be asking that question tomorrow. So I'm gonna be asking, that's my sad face. Because there's two equations, it's too complicated for me to make you do that in a short test. All right, you guys have three minutes to finish this one. Three minutes to finish this one and then turn it in to me. Meanwhile, I'm going to try to get this fixed.